Yes, yes, yes. Welcome everybody back to the vlog. It's officially four weeks left until I leave for Melbourne. One more month until I leave this place to go back home and it's really, really going fast. I really cannot, you know, keep track of time. Things move so fast, but all good. I have been going out non-stop actually. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've been going to many places, the beaches, restaurants, cafes, like a crazy person. I'm like spamming everything and it just leaves me so tired at MD, but worth it. So later on in this week, I'm actually waiting for boxes to come so that I can pack all my things to deliver back home. So hopefully it will come. Um, you'll see that later. All right, Sam, where are we going today? We are going to Fine Food Festival. What's that? A place where you eat fine food. Wow. <laughs> I know that's your spot, right? I love eating fine food. Yeah, man. So basically, food trade is about like maybe 600 or thousands of food um, brands will be there to showcase what products they have. You get to try the food and I'm really excited because we all just love free food all the time. Especially you. Yeah, man. Food You're don't come cheap. Yeah. And one more thing I want to tell you guys which makes me so happy is it's, it's officially springtime here in Melbourne. Yes! You can see the glorious sun behind me is so bright. And I'm so happy we've been living in this cold spell for the past few months. Suffering, right? Yeah, it's like Elsa, but I'm not Elsa, so... I know. <laughs> You're just the other guy. The one like trying to hit on the system? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really sunny now. 23 Celsius. That oh, is really? hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot for a Melbourne day. So I'll show you guys the sun in a while. Happy day calls for happy socks. Woo! Mm, look at the sun everyone and I'm getting blinded I need to get my sunnies out yeah. can't see my future <laughs> my future yes, is blinding sun. what oh. <laughs> cough cough <laughs> So you managed to get in, right? Didn't we? Yes. Yeah, this is how you sneak into events. Got in, guys, as a guest. And you too, you got yours. Manager at Windsor Hotel. <laughs> We are here inside the Food Expo now. It's really massive, food products everywhere, mostly kitchen appliances. Really nice and shiny, lots of business people walking around. And I'm just grabbing all the free bees food. And so are you, aren't you? <laughs> We're just like holding out all the free food and I'm going up to the people like trying, what is this? Can I try it? Can I try it? And that's how you get lunch. <laughs> Oh my goodness, all of these foods here are just display only but I feel like I just want to eat them. <laughs> Why are they all display and fake? Where are the real foods? That's my hunt for today. And this guy has popcorn. Is it for free? Oh my goodness. Popcorn, we got it! <laughs> yeah! You see the amount of food we are getting is increasing and that's good. What more will we find here? Ooh, sandwiches, chocolate. I'm waiting for chocolate, that's my favorite part. Chocolate or cake. Marshmallows, men for s'mores. Wow! You got a s'more. <laughs> wow! Look at that. It's a fail s'more, but you know, it's perfect. There is a cooking competition by Nestle, the Golden Hat Award behind me. And you can see chefs are just cooking like crazy professionals behind with real video cameras like you know taking all the footage and seeing all the contestants really wearing you know their proper chef clothes and just doing all the cooking um, <laughs> menu. So yeah, quite interesting. Having a banana bread. So guys, tell me honestly, how many of you guys actually went to an expo not actually as a person going there to see networking but to actually eat the food? Yeah, 
customer all day. Write in the comments below, have you ever done this before? Go to a convention just to eat free food as a guest and not actually do networking. Well, I've done it before and I can say it is amazing. <laughs> yeah, we'll so do it again. This is crazy. This is an Australian pie competition. Just look at all of the judges judging every single piece of pie. Like a spread of platter, I would eat all of it. Just look at it. Can you imagine if you live your life on pies mostly? I think you'll get like obesity really soon. <laughs> From all that butter and the pie crust. To be a true Australian. Huh? Yeah, but this is what being Aussie means. Having meat pies. This is a never-ending hall. We just passed by the food area and now we're at the beverage area. We're having coffee. We need coffee so badly. Like all the snack food and sweets and cakes and ice cream is just like giving you sugar rush. And now we're crashing. We need the coffee. <laughs> yeah man, like I got scared of I'm a bit scared already. Like it's, it's still like never ending, guys. We still have this much left until the end and we were there. From from here. Until here. And we are, we're only two hours in, so another two hours more, I think. But really worth it. This is so good. San Pellegrino with tea. I'm having the peach flavor tea right now. The sparkling water. You said you were done eating, but you're still eating. It's food. If it's like asking me to eat it, I can't say no. I know, right? The guys are just like giving you the food and he can't resist. He just says yes and just accept all of it. <laughs> just like that monster is spirited away. He just ate all of the food like this. <laughs> That's you essentially. Oh, oh, yeah, you. See, you're eating again. Monster. <laughs> you're a monster. <laughs> Alright guys, we have officially reached the end of this fine food expo. What a day. I think we ate almost like 30 to 40 dollars worth of food just by the nibbles alone. What do you think? I think at least 30 to 40. As I said to Kevin, it may look small, just keep on nibbling, you'll be full and by the time you'll be like, you want to faint on the floor. Yeah, seriously, I feel like I want to faint. But <laughs> our next stop now, we're going for the Tea Expo next and to the it. Alcohol Expo. Alcohol Expo, Expo too. He, he's the one. But yes, we're moving on from fine food to tea. <laughs> what a day. Well, back in the kitchen. It's been a while since I showed you guys this side of me cooking. The last time I think was my cooking channel. Man, that was long ago. So right now, I am trying to make mac and cheese. I'm making the milk sauce with milk over the, the roux of butter and flour. It's taking 10,000 years to thicken up, like seriously. And then I'm gonna dump in lots of cheese to the macaroni. How much cheese do you think I should use? The whole bag? I am such a cheesy person. More cheese! And just look at that swirl. Yum, yum, yummy. And ta-da, this is it. Look at it guys, supreme cheesiness. It may not look that good now and it may look strange because I added spinach to it, which is not normal for mac and cheese. But trust me guys, this is so good. I am going to you know, be so happy tonight before I sleep. Right now, I am at Port Melbourne, the beach area where they load the cargo docks. And uh, it's really amazing guys. <laughs> I'll show you, this is the beach area. And behind me is this giant cruise called Spirit of Tasmania. It is actually a cruise where you can take to travel around um, the seas around Australia. And the cruise is huge! Like, it's massive! And I was supposed to chill at home and rest, but Rachel was like, No, let's go out! Because we bought a weekly uh, train pass, so might as well come out. And you can see the cars are actually loading themselves into the cruise and one by one getting ready to, you know, lift the bay. But the sunset here is just so pretty. Alright, look what we have over here. 
This is my shipping boxes that I'm gonna send back all my stuff in, all my clothes and uh, my nonsense back to Malaysia with this cargo. It just got delivered. Two big boxes and uh, all I have to do is just pack them up and send it back and it'll arrive safely at home back to my house in Malaysia. Oh man, this is where the real challenge begins. And it's really good because this company gives you free bubble wrap, some markers and tape, so you don't have to buy your own stuff. And these boxes are really thick quality. You can see they're just so sturdy to hold through the whole um, cargo back on the ship. So eventually, all of these things that I kept aside from this whole luggage, everything up here, is gonna go back in here. Oh my goodness, just look at this place. <laughs> It's chaos and all the things I have to you know, manage and bring back to ship over. What I'm gonna bring over by my own luggage or what I'm bringing over by the cargo. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. I just wish I could teleport everything easily. But yeah, things that I don't need anymore like winter clothes. Since it's getting warmer now, I'm gonna ship back all my winter clothes and just keep my summer clothes here cause it's much lighter. The thing about being a student is after you study, all your books and textbooks and all your drawing materials are just like heavy weight that you just don't use anymore. I have this huge pile of books that I collected. They weigh a ton and I'm just thinking, why did I even buy all those books? <laughs> you know, random clothes that I have for each season. Yeah, I probably wore this white sweater a really long time. It's, it's actually time to give it away, I think. And stuff that I am going to carry back, which is my summer clothes, I'll bring it back with a luggage. Hence, it's probably going to be like more than 100 kilos of things. <laughs> That's how much I accumulated over three years. So, time to get packing. Now we just finished packing one box. All of that time was literally just for one box. And this is it. You can see it's really stuffed to the brim. The clothes are just like gonna burst out of the, of the box, right? Yeah. <laughs> All that effort. So we're gonna see if this box can be sealed and then we will work on the second box. And uh, I don't know if I do that tonight, but I'm worried if this is like above 30 kilos cause that's the limit. We don't even have a weighing scale. Hmm. Wow, is there some kind of party in here or something? So guys, I have managed to pack these two bad boys and they're ready to go to be shipped off back to Malaysia picked up by the guy tomorrow at 10.30 and off they go! Whew, that was so tiring. Imagine doing my whole room. <laughs> Can't wait to see my stuff when I go home and I don't recommend hoarding stuff guys. This is a lesson for everyone. Don't hoard things. If you guys have all those stuff in the house, Clear them out right now. Four more weeks left before I go back. I'm so excited. So this will be the end for the vlog guys. Thank you guys for watching and as usual do subscribe to the channel for more of my adventures and craziness. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!